going to do here on this video is I'm going to remulch these apple trees. Um, so we've previously mulched them with bark chippings, which has caused a bit of a problem over there, to be honest, uh, because as the bark chippings have rotted down, they've damaged the stem of one of the apple trees, um, and it's going to need replacing, I think. So uh, what I want to do is sort of dig in this this bark chip and take it away from the stem. I want to take out the weeds that are, have started to creep in and then remulch it with some compost, some garden compost we've made here. Um, the beauty of the garden compost is, and the advantages of it are, that it looks better, it'll look neat, a nice uh, neat um, area around the trees. But more importantly than that is that it'll add nutrients to the soil as it breaks down. It'll prevent some weed growth, quite a lot of weed growth. Um, it'll improve the soil structure as well and the soil life. So as it breaks down, it'll improve the quality of the, the soil around the apple trees, but also the, the bugs, the worms, the fungi that are in there. So what you want to look for is you want to look for about um about a meter around the stem of the tree clear of weeds and mulched so what i've done here is i've cut myself a, a stick and a, a piece of string which is just about a meter and it's just gonna i'm just gonna run it round the edge and give myself a mark to start working on which will give me a meter and it'll give me a nice clean circle around the edge um, and then I'll dig that. I'll dig that out with the half moon, and and then start forking out all the all the other weeds that are in there. The reason I do that is it gives me a nice clean area, uh, a nice um, looking circle that fits that fits around the tree perfectly. And it's not lopsided. It's not more on one side than the other. And then that looks neat. It looks like a professional job. And we've got nine trees in here. And if they all look like that, then it'll look really good, it'll look really neat. So first of all, I'm going round with the half moon on that line that I've made to give myself a deeper, neater line to work with. And then I'm taking the fork and I'm going round and I'm just digging out the weeds and the roots, trying to get as much root out as possible to prevent them regrowing. I'm going lightly with the fork because I don't want to damage any roots of the trees. As the trees get bigger, I won't be able to do this as deep, I'll have to hand weed it with maybe a hand fork so because i don't want to damage any of the roots and then i'm just re-edging it to keep the soil away from the edge i'm preparing it for mulching by just giving it a little bit of a rate to get it level first and then i'm going to apply some organic material so that's anything that's been broken down from natural plant materials like garden compost composted bark spent mushroom compost or well rod horse manure putting the cardboard down to try and prevent weed growth and covering all that so you can't see it with the compost. I've also got a bucket there which any weed roots that I'm finding in the compost I'm putting in that bucket to dispose of them. 